Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome to a new World War 2 video and today it's going to be a really quick video. I just wanted to get, show you guys my settings for this game, uh, sensitivity and stuff like that. So we're going to get right into it with the controls. I just, a lot of people have been asking me on streams, my sensitivity, my if I use vibration, my everything. Alright, so I'm just going to go over all my settings, what I like to run and uh, yeah, let's get it guys. So controls guys, I do run tactical button layout to be able to drop shot with my R3. My thumbstick. Uh, I have a scuff controller, so I do melee with my right paddle and then jump with the left one, obviously. Uh, then stick layout, I keep it on default. Look inversion, obviously disabled. I don't know why you would use that, it just makes it weird. Uh, maybe if you've been used to it for, for like the longest, I would understand, but aside from that, there's really no point using that. 5-5 uh, five, five sensitivity, obviously. Uh, I like a lower sensitivity to be able to be more accurate on this game with the. Uh, the, the aim assist in this game is a lot less consistent than other Call of Duties, so that's why I do this. 5-5 um, five, five sensitivity. Um, then I turn off the control vibration, because I hate control vibration. It, uh, it fucks my aim up and stuff like that. Oh, I just enabled it by accident. There we go. Uh, yeah, I can't stand control vibration. So if you guys are using control vibration and have never tried it off, make sure you try it off, guys. At first, it's going to feel weird, but when you get used to it, it's going to be a lot better. Uh, your accuracy is going to be a lot better and stuff like that. So I really recommend not running control vibration. Uh, the aim assist rotation is slowed on. You obviously want to have that on or you're going to have disadvantages in gunfights. Auto weapon switch. That's basically when you're out of ammo and it switches automatically to your secondary. I have that on. So if I don't realize I'm low on ammo, the game does it for me. But uh, I'll realize I'm running out of ammo anyways. So. Then auto mantle, that's basically, you want to have that disabled, because if you're in the middle of a gunfight and there's like a little ledge next to you, and you you, you walk past it or next to it, it's going to mantle you automatically on it, and you're going to die in the gunfight, so obviously you don't want to have that on. Uh, hustle, sprint cancel, basically when you're using hustle, which allows you to reload while sprinting. Well, basically, what you're going to have to do here is uh, start sprinting before you start reloading in hustle. If you start reloading and then you start sprinting, it's going to cancel your reload while even using hustle. So, that's personal preference. I don't use hustle, so I don't really care. Um, then, you're going to go on to the graphics settings. I have my brightness right there where the not visible is a little bit more visible than, than they want you to have it at, so I can see people easier. Um, then safe area, no one cares about that, I call the blind, nope. Uh, mini map rotation, obviously that's in, like in every Call of Duty, the map rotates with you, you want to have that on. The motion blur, you want to have that off, that uh, makes everything around you blurry whenever uh, you're moving. You don't want to have that on, it makes it harder to see people and stuff like that, so just turn that off. Audio, game volume all the way up, hit feedback all the way up, so I'm, I can hear that I'm hitting my bullets. The music you want to have the disabled because the little music at the end of the game and at the start of the game could throw you off. I really don't like it, so I would turn that off if I was you guys. The announcer uh, that's really good to have on to know when the uh, UAVs and stuff like that are being called in by the enemies. Uh, the battle chatter that's basically when you kill someone you can hear them complain if they're talking in my in game chat. Uh, you can hear them for like two seconds. That's battle chatter for you guys. And then subtitles I don't. It's probably for campaign. Whatever. Uh, but yeah guys, that's my settings in Call of Duty World War 2. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I just wanted to show you guys my personal settings in this game. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.